Hi, I'm Matt Hines. I'm a product manager with Isotope, and I'm incredibly excited to be here with you today and Sweetwater talking about Isotope's first ever hardware product, Spire Studio. So the Spire Studio hardware device I have here in front of me, as I mentioned, is designed to make recording simple, easy, and fun. So to that end, I have a microphone right on the, on the front of the unit. You can capture vocals, guitars, drum kits, really anything you can throw at it. And on the back, anything you need to plug in, like a keyboard, an electric guitar, a bass guitar, a drum machine, you can plug in directly on the back. As soon as I have things plugged in, you'll notice a big sound check button right here on the main interface. If I press sound check, you'll notice over here on my phone, which is wirelessly connected, to the recording device, it's letting me know that as I sing and play, Spire Studio is taking care of all the gain staging for me. So now I'm ready to record, and the mixing engineer inside this box has set everything up for me. Everything's at the right level. I'm not going to clip. I'm not going to distort. And all of Isotope's incredibly famous, award-winning DSP is inside this box, making sure it sounds as good as possible. Don't take it from me. What I'm actually going to do today is introduce Vanessa Wheeler. Uh, she's an artist that we're working with. Uh, we actually, in the hotel last night, tracked a few songs directly into this device in the hotel room. Uh, I'm going to pull up one of those songs today. She's going to add a few more layers so you can see how quick and easy Spire Studio is to use and how you can use it to record your music with studio quality no matter where you are, from the tour bus to the garden to your lounge on the coffee table. So I'm here with Vanessa Wheeler, one of our artists. Um, so she's going to take over a project that actually we started working on last night in the hotel room using Spire and nothing but Spire, tracking acoustic guitar, shakers, finger snaps, backing vocals. Uh, it sounds studio quality, but it all came from this little box. Don't take it from me. I think, Vanessa, if you want to take it away, finish the song. Let's get some vocals, some electric guitar, and uh, we'll be rocking. So you heard Vanessa adding the, the final electric guitar and vocal layers to her song, again, all recorded entirely in Spire Studio. I just wanted to talk to you quickly about what she did, show you how to mix with this thing, and how you can share the audio with the world. The first thing she did, of course, was press the sound check button on the front. That made sure that the microphone was sounding good, that the guitar on the back was dialed in. Uh, and then she actually went over here and chose from a number of recording effects. We chose this particular amplifier, a, a very popular one, uh, and I think she chose uh, the acoustic shape of vocal effect. Once you have the effects dialed in and you press record, and you're happy with what you've got, in this case we have seven tracks, a maximum of eight tracks are possible, I head over to my mix view. Now, for me as a musician, this makes sense. I can see all of my tracks and exactly where in the mix I, I kind of want them to come from. Uh, so what I'm going to do is press play, and you'll notice as I move my different tracks around in the mix, you'll, you'll hear them move you know, through the sound stage. So I'm just going to shut up and do that for you. Yeah. 
So that's incredibly fun. Uh, to me, it makes sense. I press record, I get a great sound, and I can actually mix exactly as I think in sound. Of course, a good song is nothing if we don't share it with someone or, or something somewhere in the world. So here with the app, which again is wirelessly connected to the hardware device, I can actually share it, either with the world via text or email. If you're a gear junkie who has a bunch of different apps on your phone that you enjoy making music with, you can send this recording over to them. If I export individual tracks, I can airdrop to any other computer or phone the individual tracks in isolation if I wanted to mix it somewhere else or, or give it to a friend to add more layers on his or her computer. And then last but not least, if I press export project, I can actually airdrop it wirelessly to anyone else's phone. Uh, if your badmate's in the room and you send her the project over airdrop, as soon as she receives it in the project list on his or her Spire, they'll have the same song as you and you, you guys are collaborating, recording, sending parts back and forward. So you were just listening to Spire Studio. If you're interested, if you want to record music with Spire Studio, call Sweetwater, call your sales engineer. They know what's up, so check it out. It just wait and wait and wait and wait. Oh my God, what can I say? Spinning all these eyes your way. And I know how it is to take. It just wait and Just waiting.